What's up ladies my name is Shreyas and welcome to my channel if you're watching my video for the first time and you've not yet checked the other 300 plus videos on my channel i highly recommend you hit the subscribe button down below because i'm pretty sure you're not going to miss any one of the future videos now let's be honest it is very hard to convince women more than men i'm sorry but this is what i found at least as as far as fitness is concerned if a girl puts something in her mind it is hard to change that and that is the biggest problem that I found as far as training people or talking to people or talking to girls who are fitness enthusiasts. Now, in this video, I am going to bust some myths regarding female fitness as well as I am going to tell you how you should uh, look at your workout as well as diet and maybe supplementation as well. Now, first question is, why do women not go to the gym? Why are women scared of going to the gym? Because the first question that they ask is what if i look like this okay the answer is you won't look like that the reason is the same reason why i won't look like this so what is common between both of these pictures both of them are they look out of the world okay and the reason is hormones now everything muscle if you look at muscle it's because of the hormones in your body which is for men for men it is testosterone and women do not have testosterone in their body even though your a female body produces little bit of testosterone which i'll display right over here that is the difference between a female uh, testosterone production and a male testosterone production okay now you can clearly see that a man produces more testosterone than women okay than a girl okay so you can clearly see from these both images right both are very muscular that cannot be attained with natural hormone level so remember girls no matter how hard you try in the gym unless you inject yourself with some anabolic steroids you're not going to look very muscular like a man so that is out of the way do not even think you in your wildest dream that lifting weights lifting heavy weights will make you look like a man okay so that is the first thing now should women lift different than a man or should women train differently than a male okay again my answer is no you can exactly do the same thing now let's assume you work out with your boyfriend okay you can do the same exact thing as your boyfriend but you might have to do little bit less volume and by volume i mean workload okay you can uh, maybe do like one set lesser than your boyfriend now why weight training is important for women okay now let's be honest guys the more muscle you have in your body you can use the word toned okay the more muscle you have in your body the more toned you will look now if you see the body fat percentages of a boy and a girl or a man and a woman you can clearly see that a man uh, at 15 percent body fat is equivalent to a girl who is at 20 percent body fat so women will always have more fat no matter how deep they go into their uh, uh, into their muscles or how defined they look even at 10 percent body fat you will have more fat than a man at 10 percent body fat so you should remember that weight training what it will do is it will stimulate your muscle fibers and that will promote some muscle growth in your body which will give you an illusion of looking toned now for example arms women store more fat in their triceps okay this area that is what i found and also your hip area okay now what you can do is uh, hip and as well as your lower back area so what you can do is now if you build your deltoid muscles and your biceps and your tricep muscle even though you are uh, uh, you are having fat here you will tend to look little bit toned okay or toned or defined if i must say like that so exercising will not only burn calories it will stimulate your muscle mass um, uh, stimulate your muscle uh, fibers and uh, that will eventually help you look toned okay so doing tricep exercises will not directly burn fat from the tricep area that is the next myth that i'm going to bust you cannot burn fat from a specific area just like how your body stores fat in different areas now a person a and b a person a might store fat in this part of their body and a uh, person b might uh, store fat in uh, this part of their body okay so everybody is different so your body chooses from where to burn fat now that is why weight training is very important weight training burns, burns calories not only in the gym but it burns calories outside of the gym okay so the more uh, you are into weight training the more uh, calories you are going to burn in the gym as well as outside the gym 
so remember that the more calories you burn over time will turn into burning fat and that is how you lose fat from this area and all the areas of your body so your body will not just burn fat from one area your body chooses where to burn fat from just like how it chooses where to store body fat okay so remember that no matter how many crunches you do no matter how many side uh, bends you do it won't directly burn fat it is just stimulating muscles it is not burning fat just because you are uh, uh, what uh, squeezing the fat all over your body okay you won't burn fat like that eventually your body will burn fat all over from your body and uh, no spot reduction will take place ever no matter how much you try now one more thing that i see with girls is they do cardio all the time and they think they doing cardio uh, they will uh, burn more fat it might be theoretically true because you are burning calories but at the same time you should remember that if you walk for like 45 minutes it's, it's considered as temporary calories okay you just burn calories temporarily but that won't affect the calories you burn at the end of the day or uh, i mean i must say after the gym okay you just burn those 300 calories in the gym what i am saying is use cardio use it as a tool okay use it as a supplement don't use it as a primary source to burn calories you should always remember that muscle is more important for you because your body will always make sure that your body will try to store fat than muscle so your body will always try to eat up muscle because muscle is not uh, that essential uh, in your body okay it is essential but your body will keep only how much it is how much is necessary so you should always remember that doing cardio lot of cardio can actually cause weight loss but most of the weight loss eventually will be muscle mass okay you the, you would have lost muscle and uh, less fat the ratio of muscle to fat loss would be very bad and you would have lost more muscle so remember that use cardio as a supplement and not as a like uh, instant fat burning uh, machine or a source okay so the next step is how you actually burn fat now nutrition nutrition is very key now um, 90% of the people look great only because of their nutrition they might not be doing the best in their gym but they will be better than someone else because of the nutrition now i'm not saying training is not important but at the same time i believe that nutrition is as important as what you do in the gym now for girls we should always remember that your total daily uh, energy expenditure which is tdee is lesser than a man the simple reason is you don't have enough muscle and uh, your uh, metabolism will not be that much and you wouldn't be uh, i'm not saying that your that your activity uh, is different okay you will be burning calories if you do activity but what i'm saying is the total daily energy expenditure will always be lesser than that of a uh, male okay and that there are many uh, reasons for that but the main reason is muscle mass okay now you should remember that you can't keep on eating and eating and eating and expect to lose weight so you should remember that you should be at a caloric deficit this rule is same for a boy or a girl caloric deficit is what is going to help you lose fat you can do hours of cardio but if you're not on a caloric deficit you're not going to lose fat so how to lose fat or what is calorie deficit how to find out the calorie deficit now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply leave a link right over here you can hit the i button and you can go to my videos on how to check maintenance calories now once you find your maintenance calories you will have to reduce around 250 to 300 calories from your maintenance and that is what will give you uh, that is what will put you at a deficit and also to be at a deficit you should also perform exercise that is why we promote weight training weight training will uh, somehow improve your metabolism and uh, you will be burning more calories at the end of the day so eventually we, over weeks and weeks and weeks of hard work you will lose fat now before i talk to you all about what kind of diet you should follow let me first talk about the best exercises that can help you burn the maximum amount of fat in the shortest amount of time as well as build good amount of muscle in important parts of your body now a girl would always want to have a good butt or a good looking butt or uh, uh, i must say good lower body and you should concentrate more on your lower body a girl with a good lower body will have a perfect physique 90% of the time and upper body just because you are training your upper body doesn't mean you are going to get big as i told remember that you can't just get big like a man without testosterone now what are the best exercises and one more thing about working out uh, some girls think that uh, if you uh, work on your uh, chest you will lose your uh, 
uh, breast okay so, so sorry if that was a rhyme it is not the case guys now you should remember working out your chest muscles will just hit your chest muscles and that is not actually a lot in a girl so don't worry about that don't eliminate bench press bench press is actually great for you and uh, it can also actually give you a good uh, looking uh, chest okay now uh, again bench press hits your chest shoulder and triceps squats barbell squats one of the best exercises to build your whole lower body hip thrusts okay now hip thrust is an exercise that i find girls shying away from because it looks kind of odd and people will be staring at them in the gym so first thing if there are people staring at you in the gym that will never change no matter which place you go guys will always stare at you no matter what exercise you do so try hip thrust it will give you a great contraction in your glutes glutes i mean butt okay then you can uh, try uh, glute kickbacks okay you, either you can try it on the machine or you can try it on the cable and uh, then you have deadlifts okay sumo deadlifts is also great for your glutes and your uh, little bit of your quads as well then you can try all these exercises like step ups lunges and uh, uh, whatever hamstring curls and uh, romanian deadlifts and all these exercises are great as i told you guys there are only two three exercises that a girl can actually concentrate more on especially hip thrusts and uh, glute kickbacks and uh, even stiff leg deadlifts and romanian deadlifts okay now for the upper body what i would recommend you do is you concentrate on your deltoids okay what it will do is it don't worry guys it won't make you don't worry girls it won't make you look like very wide and stuff but uh, what it will give you is it will give you an illusion of a thin waist okay so that is the same for a guy as well but uh, work on your deltoid muscles work on your front uh, side and rear deltoid muscle and also work on your arms i see that some girls say that they have big arms look at me okay having big arms you can't change that actually you if you, some girls are genetically uh, bigger than some other girls okay so take advantage of that you might be having some fat but try to burn that fat and uh, uh, when you have some muscles inside it will look give you a look very like good and a very toned look okay in your arms so that is all i have to say and also work on your back as well and uh, you will have a well defined body once you burn all that fat off now nutrition first thing is ketogenic diet in our country ketogenic diet has been getting so much popularity for no reason actually okay you just burning fat now keto in ketogenic diet you are uh, just eliminating carbs and increasing your fat intake whilst uh, reducing your protein intake so remember that ketogenic diet is not a fat diet i'm not saying it doesn't work but what i'm saying is most of the times very fast fat loss can actually affect a girl more than a guy now i have seen many girls losing their periods while on a diet and extreme diets like ketogenic diet so it's not the mistake of the ketogenic diet exactly but the way ketogenic diet is taught and explained to people is wrong in ketogenic diet you need to consume around 80 percentage of your calories from fat and 10 uh, 10 to 15 percent from protein and remaining from carbs so what these people are doing is they are actually consuming high fat but they are not consuming enough fat and they are not actually going into ketosis and they just think that they are going into ketosis remember that having too much of protein can actually block you from going into ketosis so what i am saying is when you are on very extreme diets like consuming 1000 calories i have seen girls consuming 800 calories 1200 calories when their body weight is around 80 and stuff so that is very less so please don't just start off your training journey with ketogenic diet remember that carbohydrates are the primary source of energy for your body if you eliminate that you are going to lose something that you could have had and at the same time lost fat so many researches have found that over the over the period of 6 to 8 weeks people who followed a normal caloric deficit diet lost the same amount of fat at the same time uh, preserved more muscle than uh, muscle mass than people who were on a ketogenic diet so i'm not saying i'm not against ketogenic diet it's good for people uh, who have uh, uh, sugar uh, blood sugar issues and uh, uh, or any other diseases o obese people can do good with ketogenic diet but a sudden change in lifestyle can uh, cause uh, issue in uh, uh, being consistent okay the reason why a person is obese other than having health issues is because of bad eating lifestyle and suddenly you can't put him from uh, eating junk to just cutting off all the carbs so i'm not someone who is against ketogenic diet entirely but it is not necessary so if you lose your period just periods just 
just don't think that it's normal it's not normal losing your periods over months and months can actually cause lot of health issues especially heart related issues so please uh, don't just uh, uh, go into ketogenic diet directly or even crash dieting jo don't just eat vegetables every day and not have any other uh, macronutrient in your diet okay so remember a good macronutrient rich meal for example good source around 20 grams 25 30 grams of protein around uh, 30 grams of carbs and around 10 to 12 grams of fat is a healthy meal so remember that uh, staying at a deficit doesn't mean that you just don't eat anything okay create a small deficit and if you're not losing fat just try to add a little bit of activity for example go out on a walk or something so i am completely against crash diets and slow fat loss is always sustainable the faster you lose fat remember that uh, you'll gain that all that fat back faster so i've seen people going on ketogenic diets and once they come out of it they gain all that fat back so remember in ketogenic diet initially you might lose lot of weight it will be water and you'll lose muscle as well so remember your body will try to always eat muscle up than fat the more fat you lose the more muscle you are going to lose and the more muscle your body loses your metabolism will go down you will start getting uh, issues uh, like body image disorders and stuff which girls actually have a lot okay so that is what i wanted to discuss in this video and uh, remember guys ketogenic diet is good but i've seen lot of girls every other girl that i'm finding on the uh social media is on ketogenic diet and uh, they are not even actually looking that great once they have lost all the fat okay now one more big question that i get is uh, from girls is i want to lose like 10 kg in a month or uh, 20 kg in 3 months now remember scientifically around 2 pounds that is around 900 grams of uh, fat loss per week is recommended and uh, the more more if you lose more than that most probably you are losing water or even muscle mass okay so remember that the slower you lose fat the better it is going to be don't just start dieting one month before your brother's marriage or uh, two months before your birthday or uh, three months before your uh, uh, big date or whatever okay so remember that the the longer you uh, take to lose the fat the better it is and the better you are going to maintain that physique that you have attained and the more muscle mass you are going to preserve so in my honest opinion do not lose more than a kg of fat now this applies for people who are whose body fat is around 30% okay now for girls whose body fat is around 45 50% who are extremely overweight can actually lose more fat because they have lot of fat in their body which is excess and uh, that is why your body doesn't need that and your body will actually respond but if your body is on a caloric deficit of being in a deficit of around 300 calories your body is losing around 500 to 1 kg per week remember that your body is responding well and uh, once you hit a plateau then you can start adding other activities so remember girls you need to do the same exact thing as the opposite sex and uh, just because you are a girl doesn't mean you have to change a lot of things now if you want a free plan okay now if you want a free plan what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach a pdf file down below it is an example workout it is nothing special this is what i would recommend for you uh, if you are just if you are my friend or someone okay so if you want that you can download it from the link in the description box below and as far as the nutrition is concerned you can please check out my nutrition playlist by clicking right over here I have a lot of nutrition related videos cooking videos and uh, let's be honest guys staying healthy doesn't mean looking the greatest okay being at around 20% body fat for a girl is extremely healthy and don't go overboard on your diet losing periods is not not at all natural and not at all acceptable for a long run maybe a couple of times because of stress and stuff you might lose it but if you continuously lose it it's not healthy remember that guys we can't go against nature so remember that and i hope that you got some information from this video i know it's been a long video around 20 minutes but i hope this can help you and if you are a girl or a guy or whoever you are please share this video and let people know that uh, Uh, how to go about especially girls how to go about their fitness goals so i really thank you a lot for watching this video like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share as i said so thanks a lot for watching peace